Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Morana, and I welcome you to the 42nd episode of my Tibia series. This time around, we are going to take a look at hunting giant spiders as a level 85 ish knight. Giant spiders are one of the oldest monsters of Tibia. They have been around for as long as I play at least, and probably much longer. They used to be one of the most fearsome monsters. I remember as a low level player and a noob that walking from Thais to Vinor was actually something pretty scary, as there was always a chance that someone lured one or even multiple giant spiders towards the Dwarven Bridge. They used to have a different sprite a couple of years ago, one which looked so awkward and out of proportion that it made the appearance of a giant spider about 5 times as creepy. What makes them so dangerous is their fairly strong melee attacks combined with incredible speed. This is what makes them very lethal for low level characters. Besides that they have a minor distance attack, they throw a poison fields and summon up to 2 poison spiders. Now the only thing you really have to worry about are the summoning of the poison spiders. The spiders themselves don't do jack shit of course, but they do break your shielding if there's two of them, plus a giant spider that's biting your face off. Nothing to worry about, just one berserk or ground shaker aka bug spray should get rid of them. While giant spiders are spread all across Tibia, there's three major spots as far as I'm concerned. There's of course the forbidden island Malada, also known as Giant Spider Island. No idea why that would be though. Then there's the southern parts of the Plains of Havoc, and the cemetery quarter of Yalahar, where this hunt takes place. For knights, this is easily the best place to hunt giant spiders, as you don't have to deal with any trash mobs if you don't want to. And even if you bump into anything else, they are either tarantulas or mutated bats, so it's no big deal. Other than that, the spawns are pretty close to each other and are really dense, meaning there's not a lot of room to run around. This would probably make it not as good as a hunting place for other vocations. To get to the spawn, you just make your way into the cemetery quarter and up a few levels into the central castle and you're there. Basically there's three towers. One on the southeast, one on the southwest and one central tower to the north which can be accessed best by walking over the connecting wall to the east. You can also walk over the connecting wall to the west, but this means you have to cut your way through a spider web, which respawns insanely fast, which can be very annoying. Sometimes it takes up to 10 times or something, it's completely random. It gets pretty aggravating if you have to do it every 5 minutes or so. Each floor contains one or two giant spiders, but if you keep on rotating the spawns, it's usually just one by the time you get back. Which is the best in my opinion. Usually when I fight two giant spiders at the same time, I end up wasting a couple of health potions. And you only need one summoned poison spider to break your shielding, in which case you take the full damage from two giant spiders. Choo choo motherfuckers, in comes the pain train. While I was hunting here I gained around 180k experience per hour. Sometimes I had peaks of a little over 200k, but usually it was just around 180k. This was with the stamina happy hour, so without it this would mean around 120k experience per hour. This is certainly not too bad for a level 85 knight. The problem with this spawn, as with many spawns in Yalahar, it's very popular and it only takes one butter or even a non-butter to ruin your hunting experience. In the case of this giant spider spawn, it's definitely a one person spot. You can try to share it with another person, but you're probably better just trying to hunt somewhere else. As even though I was alone, I sometimes ran out of giant spiders and just killed a couple of nightmares and nightmare science to the east. While I was hunting here I was level 85 and I eventually advanced to level 86. My skills were 102 x fighting, 96 shielding and magic level 6. I hunted here for a solid 1.5 hours, wasting 400 mana potions and a couple of great health potions. I looted 11k in gold, a platinum amulet, a knight armor, knight legs, a war axe from a nightmare, a couple of time rings and 6 spider silks. Especially these silks are important, as they sell for around 5k each on my server, so even though I spent a little over 20k on supplies, just the spider silks alone paid for my supplies and more.
You are one creep, motherfucker. The fact that this spot is so popular kind of makes sense, considering the experience is pretty nice, but the loot is even better, as long as the spider silks stay in demand and fetch such a nice price on the market. All in all, I would certainly recommend this hunting spot as a knight. Just don't do it on Refugia though, because I want to hunt here. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for this episode. Remember to leave a like and a comment before you leave. Also check out the videos at the end if you haven't seen them yet. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for watching. My name is Morana and I hope to see you in the next episode.